Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder, and I have an update for you, too. The Am I the Astronaut for leaving a dinner party after a girl sat on my husband's lap story. That's right. It's time. Let's dive into the update here. For people who are still asking me about the update in private messages, so my mother-in-law came with my husband, and well, the talk happened. There were a lot of things, but I will try to summarize. Basically, Jake apologized to me first and tried to explain his point of view. He said that he was angry because A, I left without saying anything for the whole night when he was literally trying to just defuse the situation and tried to laugh it off because it was so awkward he didn't know what else to do. But instead of communicating, I just left him in that weird situation. That's totally your fault, OP. He was meeting his friends after such a long time and just wanted the dinner to be peaceful and Cindy was going back anyways. And we would most likely never meet her again. I call bullshit on that as well. B, he acknowledged Cindy was indeed overstepping boundaries, but he didn't know how to bring it up since he has literally seen her growing up and she is like a little sister to him. Also, she acts like that with everyone. Call bullshit on that too, bro. He thought that it was just for a few days and he wanted no drama during their stay, so he would just brush it off. That does not lead to no drama, bro. He did acknowledge he was wrong about not saying anything. C, he was already really worried and sad because how I just left with no explanations. Even after I came home, not once did I ask how he felt. He was also very overwhelmed with everything and felt I was accusing him for not doing anything when he literally pushed her off as politely as possible when she tried to sit. He felt I was attacking his character and even gave an ultimatum, which made him so sad he felt as if I thought that less of him. It wasn't about Cindy, but how easy it was for me to question his sincerity. He said after that dinner, he was going to go extremely low contact with her anyways. And D, he apologized for not speaking up about the disrespect Cindy was showing towards me and for also leaving like that. Then after Jake said everything, mother-in-law explained to Jake about the situation from her perspective. She scolded him a lot as well. In short, she told him that as a husband, it was his responsibility to make me feel like I am his priority and that he disappointed me the moment I had to come to him to ask for establishing boundaries. As a husband, it was his duty that I never would have to come to him about this in the first place. She also asked him about how he would have felt had it been a guy on my lap and he had no answer for it. She told him what I did was an eruption of suppressed feelings and as a husband, it was his duty to go after me and never let me leave in the first place. There were a lot of things said by her and Jake seemed to realize and sincerely apologized for his actions. She told him if he ever pulled such a stunt ever again, then not to expect her to take him in. Later, she took me for a walk. It was just the two of us, and there were, and there she explained some things to me as well. She said that she's sorry for everything, but told me that even at her house, Jake was distraught. He didn't tell her because he most likely knew he was wrong too, but was overwhelmed about everything as well. She said in no way is she excusing her son's behavior, but she would hope that I would forgive him. She also said that in no circumstances do I need to leave my house as it was my house and my family's. She said I shouldn't be afraid in speaking my mind if anything else makes me uncomfortable and to talk to her if Jake does something stupid again and she will set him straight. She hoped we would work it out since she has seen our love for each other and it would be sad to see us split up due to some disrespectful brat, her words. She said she cannot have a say in our issues, but suggested that we should get counseling to understand each other better. She even bought ice cream for me. I know it's a bit childish, but she said sweet things work as a charm when people are upset. And well, she was right. Well, it was awkward at night. Jake came into our room and we didn't know what to say. After a while, we talked and we both apologized to each other. However, I did tell him that I was angry at him to tell everything to Sean and was deeply hurt by the text he sent me. He said he didn't know what I was talking about and I showed him the text. He said he didn't tell Sean about our fight and only told him that he was at his mom's place. He called Sean and well, it turns out Sean told Cindy and told her how she went too far at the party. Then Cindy made a huge sob story about how I was passive aggressive with her the whole time, how I would always try to question her character and act insecure and jealous. She even went on to say that I was always like that with her, even when she was a kid, that I never liked her and always tried to manipulate people into thinking I was an angel while she was a little shit. Well, that made him angry to think about how I have been treating Cindy, and he sent those texts. Jake and I were baffled by such accusations, and he tried to explain to Sean how it wasn't true, but then Jake just let it be and decided to go no contact with Cindy and extremely low contact with Sean. Jake apologized again, but we just cuddled and slept. Well, Cindy is out of our lives for good now, and we have decided to go to counseling for better communication in the future. Let's see how everything goes in the future, but yeah, we are not getting divorced. I know a lot of you people wanted me to show Jake this post, but he was so sad and got scolded a lot already, so I decided not to show him the post for now. Maybe in the future. Sorry for all this rambling. Have a good day. 
Edit, I read people saying that we should be no contact with Sean too, and I felt that it would be best to let that friendship go as well. So I talked to my husband about it, and he agreed. So he sent a text to Sean stating that we could not be friends with him and then blocked him as well. To clarify, I have somewhat forgiven Jake for his actions, but I told him he needs to rebuild the trust that I had. So I know I can rely on him in situations like that. He agreed, and we will get couples counseling as well. Thank you all for your advice. You all made me feel less lonely in all of this. Well, that's good. Um, first, first spotlight on an extremely helpful mother-in-law, huh? How about that? How about a round of applause for mother-in-law here? Because how rare is it that we see one show up and fix a problem? Everything that was set up front in the very beginning of this post, I called bullshit on with uh, with Brozo Hubby, and I'm still giving him the Brozo Award now because him trying to make her feel bad for leaving and not not uh, thinking about how he feels. Well, dude, come on. It, it, this was obvious to the entire world what was going on here. And just because you didn't want drama, it does not mean that inaction is the answer. Inaction did not create less drama, did it? Inaction in this case actually made more drama than there would have been if you were like, hey, what are you doing? Don't do that. Don't don't act like that with me. That is not okay. You're like a little sister to me. You're being disrespectful to my wife. Stop. That would have created a little burst of drama, and then it would have been over. What you did, let it snowball here and get to this point. I'm so glad mother-in-law came in here and, and was like, that was stupid. Don't do that shit ever again. So she said him right. That's amazing. I'm glad that they're looking at counseling. This is going to be a long road here, but I think they're taking the right steps. So good. It's it's rare that we see you know some kind of positive resolution like this and a path to a solution being facilitated by a mother-in-law. Again, I'm just amazing. Amazing. I still think hubby is, is, is at least he knows he's in the wrong, but his explanations here are not helping him. My advice to you at this point, hubby is to keep your mouth shut. You're just getting yourself in more trouble and do the work to rebuild trust. That's the only mission you have right now. Keep your mouth shut. Don't try to explain anything away because it's only making it worse. Do the work. That's it. Hopefully we don't see another update on this one. 